Hi, welcome to my channel. You don't see this very often. An underfolder on the SKS. I love them, in spite of what everybody says on YouTube. Uh, two of the biggest complaints are it's uncomfortable and has poor cheek weld. Oh, please, quit your belly aching. This is not a sniper rifle. So what does cheek weld has anything to do with it? Besides, there's 40 million of these underfolders ever made around the world. And I don't hear them complaining about how uncomfortable they are or has poor cheek weld. Anyway, I love them. And uh, why don't we start with the stats? It's uh, 31 and a half inches folded, 42 inches extended. It, this weighs in at 8.3 pounds without the bail. And the, the trigger pull is 5 pounds, averaging, and the LOP is 14 inches. Okay, what I'm going to do is start with the field stripping first, and then I'm going to do the full monty. Why don't we start? Now, with this Archangel uh, mag, it has this um, quick release lever, and before I could release that, you have to pull in the carrier, okay, and then grab the lever like it's an AK and push it in. This is brand new, so it's a little on the stiff side, okay. Then you can release the carrier. Okay, now as far as fuel stripping goes, put this on safe and pull this top cover cross pin up. And use your fingers like that. And if it's too stiff, you can always use a tool like this and pull it up pull it up vertical and then pull it towards the right at the same time putting your thumb behind the top cover wiggle it if you have to okay then the top cover should come out should come out followed by the recoil spring and make sure the squiggly part is in the carrier, not like this. Okay, not like this. The squiggly part is always in the carrier. Then slide the carrier back along with the bolt, and they should come out together. Now, there's one more step on the field stripping is removing the gas piston for cleaning. Now, on the right side, there's also a lever. Now you can pull this up like this. If you can't, if it's a little on the stiff side, use a head of a bullet, put it into that hole, and pull it up. Here, I'm gonna use a punch to do that. And you can do that this way. Pull up to about 45 degrees angle. Okay, so lay it down, and at the same time, pull up on the top handguard. Still wiggling it up. There it is. The top handguard and the piston slide out. Okay. This is as far as you go when it comes to field stripping and SKS. Okay, next will be the full Monty. To extend the folder, you press on this button and then push it down. Okay, I, I made it a little stiffer so it doesn't automatically falls down. So. Once you, and then when you pull it all the way to the back, you'll hear a click. There it is. Okay, so it's locked to the right. And then, okay. Next thing you do is remove the pistol grip. And the reason why is because there's a lock right behind the trigger guard and to get at the lock 
you need to remove the pistol grip. Okay. And just use a straight edge and you turn this. And when you're unscrewing it, pull up on the grip at the same time. And it'll come up. Okay. So this will give you access to the locking locking uh, piece right here. What I normally use is a punch and make sure that you are on safe when you're doing that. Otherwise, you would not be able to separate the wood with the folder. And in this particular case, you press this at the same time you're pulling on the trigger housing, trigger guard. And there it is. Okay, that's where the uh, grip screw went through. And there is a locking washer. And then there is a six millimeter nut on the other side. Okay. And now to separate the rifle, to separate the upper from the wood, you have to, what I normally do is go like this, there it is. Make sure you don't hit the uh, front side when you're doing that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, here I'll fold this one for you too. There it is. And so that concludes the disassembly of the SKS underfolder. Now I'm going to reassemble it for you. And of course, we begin with uh, putting the wood back on to the upper. And make sure you slide it into this furl like that. Okay, and now you press this in, making sure that this cross pin is seated properly. And quite often it isn't not. So what you use is a screwdriver and on, on the other side, turn it just a little bit just to make sure that it, it is, it's now going in, that it's seated properly. Okay. Now make sure also the back is seated properly. There's a gap here, and I don't want the gap. And I press it. Make sure it goes in nice and tight, and it is now nice and tight. Okay. Now I'm basically doing the reverse of what I did earlier. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting the trigger housing back in. And to put the trigger back in, there's these two studs on either side of the front of the housing. It goes in right here. And just underneath, like that, and it slips in and stays like that, okay? Now before you press this down, make sure that the The nut is seated properly, and I have a black mark which points which direction it should be going. And I'm just going to put it down. Okay, 
seated properly followed by the locking washer to put that in okay nut goes first then the washer and now I'm ready to push the the trigger housing to lock up okay and you just basically press on this thing and you should hear a click make sure it's properly locked if not when you're screwing in the grip this will pop out and I heard the snap and it does look locked in properly and then I'll use a, a punch make sure that the washer and the nut is all lined up now I'm going to take the grip with the screw insert the screw into the hole and start to turn I didn't turn it too tight okay looks pretty firm okay next step is putting back the gas system after cleaning uh, this is where it gets really dirty and the heads of the uh, piston gets really dirty clean that with a wire brush and then insert the front end first oh there's something else I forgot to do and that is during the full Monty you also have to remove the piston extension and to do that remember this was pulled up like 45 degrees the lever the gas piston lever now do it like 90 degrees but put your hand in front of it and this is your gas piston extension with the spring okay so I forgot to do that earlier but you should do it right after you remove the piston but now it is there you go now you put it back in now this was this was up about 90 degrees the lever is 90 degrees push push that in with your finger and then at the same time push the lever down to about 45 degrees and that should hold the extension okay and when that is holding the extension then insert the piston and the tube in like so make sure the piston is all the way forward and that part is in now press it down now you might have to play around with this lever to make sure it gets in there it is it goes in and then push once it gets in push the lever back down in the locking position okay so that part is done next is the carrier and the bolt goes in it slides into these two guide and push that forward all the way forward the squiggly goes into carrier squiggly part of the spring and then this goes in like that now remember this has to be pointed up the lever make sure this is all the way in then wiggle it wiggle it jiggle it if you have to but it has to go all the way in once it goes in push all the way down okay it's not going down because it's not all the way in there it is now it's all the way down okay I'm just gonna put on the mag and I'm gonna show you how comfortable it is to to use the underfolder now to insert this Archangel uh, mag you need to pull the carrier back and activate the BHO with my finger I'm pushing up on the BHO and I activated the BHO and that's why the carrier is backwards now I'm going to insert this mag it will not go in without the carrier back so you hook up to the front there's a hook right here right where the front is and then 
push it all the way down till it clicks. Okay. These, this device is really handy. Okay, now after that is done, it will not go forward because the, the uh, mag plate is pushing up on a BHO. So to release it forward, you need to use your finger, push in onto the mag follower, and now you can release the carrier. Okay, so this is what it looks like fully assembled. I love this underfolder. It is very comfortable. I find it super comfortable and and 14 LOP is perfect for me. I'm looking down the sights and it's not the stock is not on my cheek but it's on my chin but it's very comfortable I find it really comfortable and even more so when it's folded and the thing about having such a long LOP uh, because the long LOP means you cannot fold this with any mag unless it's a 10 round mag so you, I have to remove this mag before I could even fold it. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I'm going to press the button and I'm going to extend this. And it will not fold with a 20 rounder. It'll fold with a 10 rounder or a 15 rounder, but not with a 20. So. Every time you want to fold this with a 20 rounder or more, you have to pull back on the carrier, release the mag. This is a brand new, so why, that's why it's a little stiff. And then fold the folder. And then you can insert your mag. Of course, it'll be fully loaded. And then release the carrier. And here you can use it with it folded. You see, I can reach the safety on and off, no problem. And it comes in really handy. And I don't even have to touch the buttstock, I can move my hand further up and that'll be great. So, there you have it. How to do the full Monty on SKS Underfolder. Thank you very much for joining me and please subscribe.